All right. <laughs> Hello and welcome to this episode of Pippin Pixel. Uh, Little Proust, Big Faust, or maybe that's the other way around. I don't remember. I started this over a year ago, but here we are. Um, as always, at the top and often at the bottom and sometimes in the middle, we like to thank the benefactors, Yev Yev, Nomad, Doomsayer, DLP, and of course Backblaze for uh, bringing all this together. Today's victim, uh, front chill individual, is our very dear friend, but I'm going to let them introduce themselves as we roll through this questionnaire. If you're not familiar, go check out the playlist. It's on YouTube. You can check out most of the Front Chill fam, and we're still working on more and more, as you can see, to this day. But let's dive right in. What is your name? I'm JD. What is your quest? My quest? What is my quest? My quest? Is to find out what my quest is, I guess. What is your favorite color? Green. And what movie reference do you f feel embodies you as a storyteller slash gamer? What movie reference do I feel embodies me as a... Probably... Big Daddy. Nice. Nice. We... Um, you can ask our good friend Billy M uh, uh -huh. what those first three questions were about and okay. why they're funny <laughs> to certain people of a certain age. Uh, uh, so, I think I missed the boat on that. Yeah, but... No, that's fine. This is great. Um, most of these jokes are just for me, and that's the whole point. All right. Um, but yeah, hit us with your pronouns and where the viewer can see or hear you as of this, this interview. Sure. So uh, my pronouns are he, him, and uh, where they can find me, like... What does that mean? If someone was interested in getting more JD. Oh, more JD? Should, uh, should they on, just I'm check on out Instagram? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, at, at J Dizzle Sizzle. No. Uh, Sizzle with an A L, not an L E. Uh huh. Uh, and I may eventually be on YouTube. Sometimes I'm on uh, on some streams on Twitch uh, with some homies like Front Chill. Great. Yeah. Great, great. Um,. And uh, what games are you playing right now? Sure. So uh, I'm playing D&D &D 5e, obviously. I'm here with Front Chill, and I have a home game that I run. And then I have a, a game that I'm upcoming player in, uh, Tomb of Horrors. Ooh. Oh, so I'm excited about that. How many characters have you pre-rolled for that? Uh, I'm only allowed to, to pre-roll one. My oh. DM has pre-rolled 20 to, to supplement our, our deaths. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. And then I'm always playing Sid, Sid Meier Civilization VI. Uh, I'm playing po the Pokemon, various games. Yep. And a whole plethora of you know shooters and RPGs and things like that. Excellent. Excellent. Great. Um, what was a quintessential moment in your life associated with gaming? Quintessential moment. I think... When I early on, when I first started playing D and D, I we we had like half of our group was missing, and we had a really clutch like scenario that we had to play that we had to play out in Curse of Strahd. Uh, a huge battle uh, ensued, and we had very low resources. And the collaboration between us all of trying to like, all right, you're gonna teleport here, and this is, and then, then you're gonna run back and teleport back, and we're gonna give covering fire, and then executing it perfectly. It is the only time I've ever executed a plan perfectly in right. D&D. <laughs> and that just made me, like, that moment made me want to be a DM and a storyteller and just a part of something for forever. Yeah. yeah. Barovia, if there's anywhere it needs to go right. Yes, it's in, <laughs> that's the place. <laughs> nice. Love it, love it. Um, all right, getting a, little, getting a little sillier. Silly. Of characters you've played. Okay. Party, date, rehabilitate. Similar to the game Party Fuck, uh, okay. Mary Fuck Kill, but okay. it's party, date, rehabilitate. Party, date, rehabilitate. Okay, uh, I'd probably date Armand, uh, who is in our in our current uh, Witchlight campaign, uh -huh. uh, because he is the most mellow and just <laughs> kind of chill and just leaves people alone for the most part and kind of just around and helpful. And so yeah. that that's what I want uh, right. to deal with on a regular basis. Party wise, probably my paladin uh, Borgaz. 
Mm. He was a big loud boy. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And uh, drank lots of beer and was actually the one who who was uh, executed his plan perfectly. So, oh yeah. You, know, yeah. you got to party with the guys that, that execute their plans perfectly. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Rehabilitate. Probably, I have a character, Shaw Fleetfoot, became a vampire, worshipped <laughs> many evil gods, Wow! Uh, slowly deformed himself because of making uh, poor choices over the course of his life. Yeah, needs yes. some help. Yeah, he needs a lot of help. He's, wow. he's mostly dead. <laughs> <laughs> Not just the vampire bit, but... Oh, that was, yeah, yeah. Wow. After the vampire bit, mostly dead. Yeah. Wow, what a, what a clean answer. That's, that's, that's pretty solid. Love yeah. it, love it. Um, so in the context of gaming slash storytelling, what is your favorite like word or term or acronym? What, what, what's one that you're just like, oh, I love that word, term or acronym. Dirty 20 is my favorite, like, dirty phrase. 20, like just solid. saying dirty 20. Yeah. Uh, whenever, whenever I can, mm -hmm. uh, I, I introduced it to my home group first. Oh, I don't remember yeah. where I heard it first or oh, if I yeah. came up or if everybody just comes up with this thing that just mm -hmm. makes sense. I don't know. And now I've, every time we say Dirty 20, it's like I just get a little, a little yeah. happiness in my heart. Hell yeah. Um, what is what is one that you would like to see used more? A term to see used more, an acronym used more. I don't know, man. I, I like to see, I like the organic flow of different groups. Different groups have different things that they phrase and focus on. And mm -hmm. I, I just like being a part of whatever it is that's going on. I don't know. I don't know if there's one that I want to see all across the board. Totally. Right. Totally. Love it. Um, well, uh, somewhere along that line then to see if we've got something else. What is something in this context everyone is sleeping on? What's everybody sleeping on? Yeah. Ooh. Uh, the thing that I think everybody is sleeping on is rolling, rolling for health in their for their D and D characters. Huh. I, I think a lot of people like to take the base, uh, the, the, the average, the uh -huh. easy way out. <laughs> And having like just being able to roll for health, and you, sometimes you get a one, and you're just kind of screwed. Uh, you're the tank. You're the tank. You're the barbarian. You got that D12 hit die, and you roll one three levels in a row. That runner. hurts. That kind of sucks. That but hurts, but it builds character. It builds character, yeah. and, and it makes you think a little bit more about what you need to do because uh, hmm. it's a resource pool that I think that I think people don't think about uh, in a wider term. Like even even that like maybe we do some more homebrewing stuff with more sacrificing and hit points and stuff, and hmm. hit dice and stuff like that. I think that's being slept on pretty hard. Uh huh. I don't know. Yeah. Nice. Maybe I do know. Nice. I don't yeah. know that I do know, but I don't know. Hey, that's half the battle. <laughs> uh, so what? What a similar, same same sort of context. What is something that's overrated? overrated? It sounds like hey, it sounds like you were saying hit points, like taking <sighs> like. Averages not to not to lead the witness. averages is is a little overrated, but I think that's like a it's like a meta overrated. What do I think is super overrated? I think full casters oh. are way overrated. Nice. Yes, I think it, sure. I think it has uh, it limit it, it 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 has so many options that it's limiting. Uh, a lot of the time, and <laughs> and people when they they don't feel like they have a lot of options as martial characters, but there are actually a lot if you get in the nitty gritty rules and the different things you can do. So oh, wow. full casters overrated. Nice, love it. We love yeah. some hot takes. We didn't. Yeah. Have, we That's don't my have, hot take. We don't have a lot of hot takes, but we <laughs> we, we love them when we get them. Great. Um, so if I were to say pinnacle of storytelling, what jumps to mind? <sighs> pinnacle of storytelling. that uh, oh god 
That's so hard because I like so many different aspects of storytelling. So I wasn't gonna let you yeah. release air much more longer. Yeah. Like, like what what just ricocheted into your head? Even oh, if it's not God. what you would con- even if if you're like oh that's not quite good enough. But just, what what bounced around? It's just like what are the like I I love terrible things happening in, uh-huh. in stories like reality like realistic storytelling where the bad the good guys lose and they just they all die like you have a party wipe. Stories the where there's stories a huge there's, reality check. There's a huge reality check like you know the the main character. Like has a his best friend dies. The like comic relief dies, but in not a not funny way. Well, or, what's what's a what's an example? I don't of this even that have just... like a, a dead on example, but because uh, I don't think it happens happens very often, right? Uh, in like main mainstream media, but I want to see I want to see more fail more failures ah. uh, across the board. The biggest one I can think of is I'm watching this show called Miraculous. Sure. With my with my wife and daughter. Sure. And. Um, and they, at the end of one of the seasons or midpoint season, like they lose all of the special magic items that they have, and then it's just back uh, to the original two after they built up this huge squad. I'm like, oh, reality check, like, oh, he's winning, and they had, and they can't get him, they can't get him back. I'm like, that is a good, like, it's a cartoon definitely for little kids. Sure. I'm like, everybody needs a reality check. Everyone's one. Teaches yeah. a valuable lesson. Teaches a valuable lesson. All I right. think we need more reality checks, and D and D does a very good job. There you go. Underrated yeah. source of of uh, of uh, yes. of moral of of, uh, yes. of life lessons is the the kids cartoons. Yes, yes, love it. Great. All right, and then, um, sort of moving around a little more. What is a class race combo or gaming genre you'd love to try? Class race combo. Apparently not full. Apparently not full progression casters. Um, I, I would like to do a full progression caster oh. as someone who, who is like an orc. Like a full orc wizard, uh-huh. right? Yeah, uh, because no nobody really thinks of doing doing like the really brutish big mm. guys as as full casters and just trying to be like like a mus like a muscle wizard or 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 just kind of eh, like like something like that. Yeah, orc wizard. I, I have an orc necromancer that keeps kicking around in the back of my head. Oh. That I just haven't haven't pulled it pulled out of my pulled out of my back pocket. Heck yeah. yeah. Nice, yeah. Things can be overrated, and you still like them. It's okay. Absolutely. Yes. Very great. Um, what's a what's a class race combo you'd not like to try, or, oh, or game genre that you're man. just not interested in? Class race combos, gaming genres. I I generally like most most things in in the right context, but class race combo. I don't want to play a Tabaxi Rogue or a Tabaxi Monk. Like there's this uh-huh. Tabaxi monk like kit where you can move like two thousand feet and around. And sure. It's like I just never want to play that. I've DM'd for it. I've I played with it, and I'm just like I just don't want to. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I feel, as a DM, it hurts. <laughs> so I don't. I don't. I wouldn't want to do that. Uh-huh. Somebody. Uh huh. Although I could, but I wouldn't. Oh no. We, well, that's yeah, not yeah, the part yeah. we question. That's yeah. not. Yeah. No. This is this is you won't want. I planned. So. I planned it, but no, I could never. Got I'm it. Not that evil. All right. And then, uh, here we are, uh, we've made it. If heaven exists, would you rather the gate interview be proctored by Proust, Bernard Pivot, James Lipton, or Sean Evans? I don't know if I know any of those people. (laughs) Sean Evans sounds the most familiar. So, Proust is one of the originators of this format of questionnaire. Okay. Bernard Pivot is a French dude who also did it quite often, okay. who inspired James Lipton, who's from the Actors Studio. Okay. And then Sean Evans is the Hot Ones guy. Sean Evans? Yeah. Okay. okay. I knew that one sounded from yeah, 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 yeah. The Hot Ones guy. Yeah, absolutely. And I hope there's hot sauce there, so I can suffer before well, I get if into it's, eternal peace. I mean, if it's heaven, why wouldn't there be hot sauce? Because it's suffering. Maybe. I mean, you know. But I like suffering. So yeah. So that's, maybe, maybe, uh, that's, you know. maybe it'd be filled with hot sauce. I don't know. Uh, you should check out a movie called What Dreams May Come. Okay. And it's, and it's about heaven. I know. Uh-huh. I think it's actually Dante's Inferno, but with both sides. I don't. Anyway, okay. but but everyone, it's it, you, your own personal heaven is different, so uh-huh. that's why it's yeah. Right. There'd be hot sauce. There would be hot sauce. There would absolutely be hot sauce. Yes. Yeah. So let there be hot sauce. Uh, thank you, JD, and thank you for coming along. Uh, as always, we also thank Yub Yub, Nomad, Doomsayer, DLP, and Backblaze for letting us be here, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.